<laughs> the other page from call this meeting to order. Roll call. Part three. Here. Same as that. Here. Middle class. Here. Okay. Uh, of course, we're here to take your setting the budget today, and I have a a statement here that I'd like to read, kind of reflect, reflect on the views of the Board of Commissioners. Uh, we had a pretty good budget this past year, and we believe everyone made out okay on it. And it's the opinion of the Board of County Commissioners that we should budget along those same lines this year, if possible, and not make any increases in this year's budget, with one exception being the treasurer's office. Her tax program that she uses has increased from around $1,000 a year to $975 per month, and we think it's only fair to fund this request for this significant increase. We also believe that every department head has done an outstanding job in running their departments on the limited amount of funds that we've all had to work with over the past few years, and that everyone has worked together at an unprecedented level for the good of Asheville County. We also believe that we should stay on the course of trying to accumulate all of the funds needed to service the future debt payments of the county. From there, I guess I'll turn it over to Gary. Okay, well, uh, ironically, your budget, your pro budget appropriations actually uh, did come out pretty close to what it was last year, just a little bit more than it was last year. It, it, that had to do with basically uh, uh, the use, the, the use tax estimate was a little bit higher, and the ad lorem was just slightly higher this year, and then we had a little bit of reduction in carryover. But what I would like to bring to your attention is, if you remember last year, in, in an effort to try to help you all out, Sandra had asked me, because the state auditor had been uh, writing you up for your sales tax situation, if she would help me, if she, she asked me if I would help to uh, see if we could take care of that. And so we proposed the general government sales tax account and the dispatcher sales tax account. Well. Evidently, my idea didn't work out real good, and here's why: is because uh, we ended up, even after designating those as sales tax accounts, we ended up lapsing about ninety five hundred thousand dollars worth of sales tax. And so, you know, according to the the law, if you if you want to if you want to designate that sales tax out and show however dollar was spent, like the state auditor asked you to. You've got to take that lapse plus any over collections of the sales tax from last year, which it over collected some, plus this next year's appropriation, and that's got to be the sales tax appropriation for this year. Well, as it turns out, with all that lapse and with the uh, the over collections and this year's sales tax, we're ended up with about sixty, a little more than sixty-two percent of our budget is sales tax related this year. So, I mean, those two, uh, those two areas where I mentioned last year that maybe you could designate a sales tax and make them work, they're not going to cut it. I mean, they're not, they're, there's too much there to, uh, so, you know, it's, it's, we need some ideas on how to handle that. Uh, I mean, you can designate as many areas that you want to a sales tax, but it just gets messier for Karen's office every time you do that because she's got to keep those areas separate from all the rest of it. You know, before last year, what we did is because the, uh, I believe it was 1981 sales tax, is that right? Uh, it, it, when it came about, it was for general county operations. And so, then we just estimated it just like any other revenue and we put it in the general fund and you all allocated it out without any, uh, you know, without any respect to the sales tax portion of it because my God, it's in the county general fund so how could it not be for general county operations and I mean it just makes sense. 
And then the same way when the 84 part came in, well, we did that the same way for years up until last year. And it worked out fine as far as I'm concerned, but the state auditor wrote you up because he said every sales tax dollar needs to be tracked to what it's spent for. And they said by doing that all together, we weren't tracking it. So, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a lot tougher uh, situation than what they make it sound like because they're looking at other, other counties, every other county I do that's got a sales tax, when they voted it, they said 5% will go to the treasurer, 5% to the assessor, you know, blah, 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 blah. And so you can allocate that out every year to that place, and then you can roll it all over into the next year, and it's got to stay with those accounts. But that's not the way it was in Haskell County. They voted it for general county, uh, you know, general county operations. And so if you want to continue to uh, break that sales tax out, like we started last year, 62% of your total appropriations are about a million, just right under two million. It's going to have to be allocated to some something that you call sales tax account or accounts, several. Yeah. I kind of need. I mean, up front, we kind of need to know sort of what how you want to go in that that area because uh, it's going to make quite a bit of difference in how the budget turns out. I mean, you know. Ideally, you could put sales tax account and just put all of it in there and just spend it out of there and then you'd know where it went. But <laughs> that won't work because the rest of the money that's left over won't fund the rest of the county offices. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're kind of in a dilemma there. So what we did last year, put, them, put those into a sub-account. Well, that still worked, be, be that worked ex that. except I anticipated there would be more expenditures in those two sub-accounts. Mm -hmm. Those two sub-accounts lapsed $500,000, so that just increased the amount of sales tax to go into this year, see? Mm -hmm. So my idea didn't really work that great. I mean, it worked, but it was a little short. Okay, so between that and what the auditors want, where do we stand with that? Well... Because I, I remember calling you, we did talk, when the commissioners did talk, and we did approve it. So, but it still all is in the general fund. It's just appropriated out to sub, to a sub account. Yeah, it, it it worked out fine. It's just that we had so much left over that pretty soon, if this keeps rolling over every year like this, mm -hmm. it's all going to be sales. I mean, mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So basically, every year, like you're saying, sometimes if we do a percentage, it's better than doing. That might be an idea. I don't know how y'all want to do that. The thing about a percentage is. If you put a percentage to each office, which is not a bad idea, it's Karen's office that's going to really hurt there because she's going to have to have two, basically two different sets of sub-accounts for every officer. Right. I see. Yeah. And it's really harder to do it that way. Well, I mean, it's, it's going to be harder on her. It, it doesn't, it's no sweat off my back, but, you know, it, uh, it'd be twice as hard probably nearly for her office to do that. Well, do you have an idea, Carrie, of what might would work? You know, I, I mean, I, I thought and thought about it. I don't know that there's any one thing that's any better than anything else. You know, if you wanted to, you know, the thing about it is, if you want to, if you want to designate enough of these accounts to be sales tax accounts, I mean, it can get it gets pretty confusing after a while. Uh, maybe Sandra's idea about going. I mean, if Karen think she could handle it, maybe go on a percentage for each office. Maybe that would uh, maybe that would work. Or maybe maybe we just have the state out of the dirt right us up every year. <laughs> I mean it's up to you guys. Because, you know, if you got it, I mean, I just can't see, I understand where the state auditor is coming from, and I've, I've worked for them for several years, so I, I know where they're coming from, but I don't necessarily agree in this case that you're not showing where those tax dollars are spent because they have to be spent for general county operations, and that's what we're spending them for. I mean, my God, any one of those expenditures in the general fund could qualify. But they, they, don't, they don't see it that way. What kind of penalty is it if we just keep letting them write us up and working it that way? Well, the penalty has simply been it, it shows up in the audit report, you know. And if you don't mind that, well. 
I don't see that that's like that. It doesn't really hurt anything. Well, and, and, and another thing is, I don't really know what we were trying to do last year, but we came in last year after the fact, and we appropriated, as you'll see in this booklet, we appropriated a, a one cent sales tax account and put money in there. We supplemented it in, and, and, a, and a 1984 sales tax account and supplemented it in. Well, I had already used that money in the original budget, so we can't come in later and supplement that in here. It, it makes the budget look, and, and if we were lucky in that very little of that supplemented in amount was spent. If you had spent a bunch of it and gone over your appropriations, I mean, they'll hang you out to dry for that. You, but luckily, you didn't do that. You, they, they were set up, but they really weren't used. There was about a couple hundred thousand used out of them, but you, were, you had enough appropriations for that. But you don't want to get yourself in trouble like that. Well, now, in that quarter percent, yeah, it was set up for we, another we, we used quite a bit out of it. We used 93600 plus what the jail used for maintenance and repair. Mm. And I can't remember exactly what they used. There was two uh, air conditioners. And, uh, I thought he had enough of his own in the middle to take care of that. Well, but we ended up... To, if I'm but not see, sure, that, I quarter cent, that quarter cent shouldn't have been set up a second time because it was already in there once. It just wasn't called quarter cent sales tax. We should have never put that back in. And besides that, if you do supplement money, I know you, you, if you have a refund or something that somebody spends their appropriations on and it comes back in, the law says you can add it. Election board has school elections. They pay a little extra. She uses it out of hers. The law says you can add it. But as far as regular supplements, you've got to go through the excise board to get those approved in the budget. I mean, that's just the way it is. You've got to do a, a supplemental appropriations and put them in like that. We're just lucky here that you, choke, you you didn't need to spend it. So it's not really, I don't think it's gonna harm you any now, but we don't wanna do that again. And I'm not trying to admonish anybody, I'm just trying to help you stay out of trouble. We won't stay out of trouble. Well, we want to stay out of trouble, and then that, that's where I was looking at for the, off what the auditors have wanted for years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, to, to well, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. So either this morning, before we start, we either need to decide how we're gonna split the sales tax up or if we're gonna split it up, and then we can go on about our way. You got any ideas on it, Ray? Well, I'm just kind of running through some ideas back here. They all kind of lead to the same, same conclusion. <laughs> like you said, we're either gonna to have to split it up and go percentage to various divisions or we're going to have to just keep doing what we're doing and hope we don't spend too much out of it. Uh, I don't know what, Karen, what, what load would it place on you if we went ahead and percentage to that? A big load. Uh, you almost need to hire someone else to track it, wouldn't you? It'll double your, your appropriation ledger, but you know, I don't know how much more. I don't. You know, you know more about that than I do. So it would cost an additional salary plus benefits and yes. all that kind of stuff. Probably cost. I don't know what that would run. Thirty-five, forty thousand dollars minimum, I guess. Are too short a person anyway? Well, we've chose to be. So okay. Never one. Probably talking about close to forty thousand a year, but they put the budget and everything on it, mm -hmm. benefits and everything on it. Yeah, probably thirty five or so. So the other safeguard would be to go ahead and keep doing like we're doing and make sure we don't Well, we could do like we <laughs> We could do like we did last year, not last year, but year before last, and every year from 1981 on to, to the year before last, and that is we put it in here as revenue, and we used it just like it, just like it was any kind of revenue, and we appropriated it out, and, and we told the state auditor that pick out the expenditures, you know, any of them, uh, that could be what it was spent for. Uh, and we, 
we got along with that for years and years, but all of a sudden, like, what has it been, the last three or four years they've written you up for that? Yeah. And I've talked to them about it, and they actually don't have any good ideas either. <laughs> They just, you know, they're they're one. They're, they they just kind of said, you know, we're not gonna we're we're not gonna tell you how to do it. You just should do it. Used to, used to be an old sitcom on TV, and the mayor would say, "Handle it, Roy. Handle it." <laughs> and one of the things that's brought it about is they they come. That last year they implemented a new coding system, right, Karen? <laughs> yes. Our accounts. Yeah, and and it, and it it has a. They've made it up to where the sales tax has its own separate set of codes, and and that's what they kind of want. You know, that's why they suddenly dug in their heels on it or whatever. But I don't think they've threatened to do anything about it, other than they're just going to probably uh, probably going to continue to write it up. Um, when uh, when Gail was in the treasurer's office. She asked me to help her write a response to their comment, and I did. And I, I thought we did a real good job, and, and they didn't pay any attention to that. So, would it, would it behoove the county to spend the sales tax first? Well, you know, uh, it's it'd be better it'd be better if we didn't let it roll over a lot, probably. Uh, but I mean, I don't know how you're going to spend it first. Uh, It'd just be better, probably, if we we're going to show it, if it got spent, you know, like this time we had, and, and you can't fault people for having money left over, but there was like quite a bit of it left over. I mean, you don't want to spend money that you don't need to spend, but uh, either we need to add more accounts so that it will get spent more, or we need to... Uh, just uh, allocated out like a, a percentage to each office or something like that. The only one I wouldn't suggest allocating anything to is the visual inspection account because it's paid for, you know, by the schools and other other places like that. Well, what the most of the other counties do carry? Well, it, there's not another county that, that I'm aware of that's in this situation. The other counties, when they vote their sales tax, it is specified then. It doesn't say general county operations. It says so much is going to go to the senior citizens, and there may be five different senior citizens. So much to go to the fire department. I, I mean, there's a there's a, a Excel spreadsheet that we do on McIntosh County that's about two pages long, just on allocating their sales tax because every one of those fire departments, say if there's ten fire departments, every one of those I have to take the money that left over in each one of those, their percentage of the over collections for the next year, the percentage of the estimate for the next year, and then add all those together, and that's what their appropriations are in the sales tax. But the difference here is this money was voted for general county operations. And, and there's 100%, there's no percentage. I mean, if, if y'all made a percentage, it'd just be one you made now that could probably be changed if you wanted to, I don't know. I don't think there's another county in the state that's done it that way. It, it matters how you write the ballot. Pardon? It matters how you write the ballot. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, that's where it all goes back to. Right. It's well, the resolution. I think, it yeah, matters. it's right. And like Macintosh, for instance, and I'm not picking on them because I do them. I, I mean, but when they wanted to get it, they they needed so much to help their county. You know, they got some. They've got so much percent goes to each office. And then they give so much to senior citizens, so much to fire department, so they can get the thing passed. You know, they divvy out little parts here and there. We give a quarter percent to the department. Well, I, okay, yeah, yeah. That that's a whole different sales tax, though. Yeah. And like that one, there's no problem with that because you know exactly where that's going to go. It's the general county <laughs> operations that kind of throws us. I have a question. I'm I may need some education here, but. Um, that tax, when it was passed for general county government, is that not one that can be used for building repairs and such? Because the, I'm just asking because it actually says, if I'm not mistaken, and I can run over and get it if you agree. <coughs> if I'm not mistaken, it, it talks about for maintenance. Yeah. Okay. Well, it, I'm asking because the 
I mean, I mean, every office has its own situations, but this yeah. this building is it's a disaster. It's hazardous. <laughs> it's I hazardous worked part. in this building ten yeah. years ago, and people yeah. fell in the and there's holes hallway. in the floor now, just waiting to. But, but we're not talking about extra money. Don't get me wrong. It takes this sales tax plus the rest of the revenue to run this county. I mean, it, I mean, if you want to do something like repairs, you're going to have to cut somewhere. I mean, there's not any new money. There's not any extra money. There's just money, you know, that it's used. It takes all of it to run the, the county. If you wanted to cut the treasure down to ten thousand dollars and use the rest of that to repair the courthouse, you can do that. But I don't think you can just say, well. Uh, we'll just use that. I mean, we're not trying to find a place to use the sales tax. We're just trying to either designate part of this money that we are spending as sales tax, or you know. So it needs to be. Does that make sense? Planned, planned spending. Uh, yeah. What's about to is we're just trying to keep an eye on it uh, to to keep uh, the auditors off of us. Mm -hmm. Well, we're spending it, but we're trying to figure out a way to specify where we're spending it so the auditors won't be writing us up. Yeah, they want to they want to know that that, yeah, that sales tax yeah. dollar went to uh, to somebody's workers comp or something like that. I mean, I don't know why, but they wrote us up for three years or so. so. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All you're trying to do is just figure out a way to specify where everything goes to keep the auditors from writing you up. The money's uh, we're not gaining any money or losing any money, really. It's just the idea that I keep a track of it. And if, uh, like you said, uh, if it's going to cause that much work and we have to hire somebody extra, then we're going to be, we we'll lose that. You know what I mean? What it was to keep track of it. So, uh, you know, it looks to me like this thing keep writing us up because they're kind of insinuating that. They're not going to do anything. It's just an idea that they, they want it on paper that it's been run to our attention. You know what I mean? In case anything does happen. Well, to me, this year we, we have kept better track of what it has gone. And yeah. the thing about it is, if it, is it reportable or are they just uh, suggesting? or That's uh, what we got rolled up on. I mean, I mean, is it like a reportable finding or it, they just told us, you know, don't be doing this anymore? I mean, is it going to go in the, was it in the audit or? I think, yeah, so. yeah, I think it was in the audit. audit, and I'm not trying to cause friction, but I think if it went to, I think if it went to a court, I don't think they got. I mean, I don't know if they got a leg to stand on, but. So you know, you, you do it this way, what they want, and then you come over here today, and you're saying this other, so you can't meet in the middle. You got to go yeah. one way or the other. It's whatever y'all want to do. If it comes down to what everything else is, we'll let the judge decide because it's, it's it, like it says in the uh, where we pass the bill and everything, it goes to the general fund, so it's there. So, you know what I mean? I'm like him, I don't know what they'd be, uh, how they'd uh, <laughs> prosecute us on anything. The thing that kind of got me is they wouldn't suggest any anything, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I asked them. They've got an idea, but they can't tell you how to do it. Yeah, I asked them. And they'll, um, they'll give you options, but they don't tell you. Don't James you. Dickerson over there, who's over this area, and I talked to Sherry Schaefer, uh, who's head of that coding business about it both last year, and neither one of them really would, they wouldn't put themselves out there to any suggestions on how to handle it. Well, I can say this year we've had better track of what we've had. We've had on what we're doing. I will say that. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, this year because we designated those two accounts last year, you can say you can show where a certain portion of it was spent for dispatch and for general uh, county uh, county general. And we don't know if what the next year is going to follow what we're going to need anyway. We might use it all. I mean, if something comes up, you just don't know. Brady, you want to weigh in on this? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's 
hard not to think about the political blowback on this if some some big city reporter was to decide they wanted to rake a rural county over the coals. They could make something out of this that it's not. So it, it, I don't know. It, it's, it's kind of a, almost kind of a catch-22 deal. There's not really any good way. Not a win in hand on this in this game. As far I as think I'm you're sure. right. It's uh, and I, I guess probably if I were if I were on the excise board or something real important like that, I'd probably think maybe I would well, just keep going doing what we're doing until they say, look, you got to stop. And then at that point, I'd come up with a different plan. Better plan. Yeah. Do what we're doing or what we was doing. Well, it sounds like we had a fair handle on it this year. Am I, am I correct about that? Yes. I'm sure they would Well, Carrie, like is there, isn't that the problem, though, is that it's too much rolling? Yeah, we had... We had a start on it this year, but we didn't. We, we didn't spend. I mean, we appropriated it. We had most. Or we had like uh, five hundred thousand of it lapse, which is not a bad thing. It just lapses into this year. It just adds to the amount of sales tax that you've got to designate out this year. That's that's what I was asking. What go? Would it behoove us to? Go ahead and allocate this out. Where it's going to get spent. Yeah. Where it'll be spent and not carry over. If you can, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to, uh, you know, you don't want to put it and say you spend it. You just, you want to put it where you need it. Right. But, uh, yeah, it's hard to say. I would have thought that in general government, uh, we would have spent most of that last year, but you know, y'all did real well this year. You, you actually uh, probably spent less money which, I mean, that's a good thing, at least in my mind, but uh, who knows what will happen next year. But rather than just saying you know, we're appropriating this out of the general fund, we could say we're appropriating this out of the sales tax account. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Uh, and what we'll end up with is we'll have about 62% or a little bit more of our uh, office accounts will be uh, financial sales tax. But the way I've got it right now, in the booklets that you have, we've got the total money that we're going to, uh, we're going to, that we budgeted for this year, and we've got everybody's request in there. And the requests are actually a little bit higher than, than what money we have. Of course, uh, if you can see on page six there that uh, the, the total money we've got available to appropriate is two million nine eighty one three oh one fifty and the requests are three million four ninety seven eight thirteen twenty two huh uh, you didn't get one of mine well, three million right now. uh the requests are at three million four ninety seven eight thirteen twenty two it's the back page and the amount that you're going to have overall to approve is two million nine eighty one three oh one fifty so it's, it's about a five hundred thousand dollar difference but a good part of that is i mean it, most people didn't ask for a whole lot more than they got last year a good part of that was just uh and uh, well, maybe the sheriff might ask for a little. No? No, it's about the same too. Uh, most of it probably in general government. Everybody asked for just a little bit more maybe, or not everybody, but a lot of people. Uh, the way you can tell is on these booklets, and I'm sorry, I should have gone over this at first. The uh, the 
columns are the original appropriations is what we appropriated at this time last year. Supplements would be either any transfers that were made during the year or in the case of uh, the sales tax, anything that was put in there after the budget meeting last year. Then you have the net, which is simply that. Then you got the total expenditures for each office and each account uh, listed in that fourth column. The fifth column is any money they had lapsed that were left over. The sixth column is the request, their request for this year. And then the seventh column there is where you can write in what we approve or what y'all approve. Uh, the very first page of the one that I have here, it shows the different revenues that are uh, appropriated into the general fund this year. And those are based on about a 90% estimate of the actual collections last year. Uh, and the, the, those revenues plus the, the carryover, which was down just a little bit, it's 682 this year. It was about right a little over seven last year, plus the ad valorem at 90% down there which is 638,550. I'm thinking it was about 635 or 6 last year, so it, it increased just a little bit. And that's what made up these appropriations. So we got 2,981 to uh, appropriate. You've already appropriated 22,000. Getting too old. 22,643.22, which is a mandated amount that goes to the state auditor's office for your county audit. That he gets one tenth of a mil plus anything that was left over last year. He, I'm sorry, she gets that. The state auditor's office gets that. So I guess if we want to just leave it like, like it has been in the past, we can just start divvying out that two million, the rest of that two million nine eighty one. Okay. Five minutes ago, he was at Lake Flower, so he's on his way. <laughs> I believe there was a bill in the legislature this, this year to give the excise board a little raise, but the COVID got it before they got it. To <laughs> <laughs> we need more money. sure another county or two or all of them have this uh, an account yeah. already set up so I can just call and get yeah. the numbers and stuff. We put a small portion, very small portion. I'm going to finish another portion. Uh, I'll probably get it done this week and get it sent in. Uh, city has, has submitted some of theirs. They haven't got any yet. They're like two weeks ahead of us. So it, it may pop in at any time. You just never know. Last year, 
try to figure out a better way. I think Paul and Jank again, the county situation, kind of go from there, kind of plan where we're at right now for another year and see what they would suggest if any. Uh, like I said, from my understanding and talking to them, and I'm sure Clark and Billy Don's also talked to them uh, when they do come in. They said this would, would help. Now, if the other counties you know what they do, I don't know. Uh, well, that's you know, one thing about it. We don't know what's going to happen if they shut down again, shut our economy down again. Like this time, it cost us quite a bit of money on that little the two week shutdown. You know, they lost what? About $40,000. For the district, that. yes. Yeah, that's For the why district, not the county, yeah. You know. Uh, I'd be pretty careful what we do because some of us talking about six weeks and all this stuff and everything it comes down a lot. It'll hurt the, our treasurer here bad. Mm -hmm. We may have to, next year may not have a whole lot of money. <laughs> yeah. right. Certainly a lot of uncertainty in the yeah. economic climate. There's really no way you can plan out what amount you're going to be spending. You know what I mean? It'd be, I think anyone here close to being 100% sure how it's going to come out. Because our appropriations through the districts have really cut back. Yeah. I mean, our, our road and bridge, I mean, it's, it's way under half of what we What if you allocated the money out just out of the total and then we looked and if you wanted to go back then and, and designate a portion of each person's amount of sales tax, we could probably figure out that out. I don't know. It'd be as about as easy as doing it as we went along. What percentage would you know what to give them? Well, it's 61.33. <coughs> Right. I mean, then what she's going to say, we, we go in there and we say 62% of this sheriff's appropriations is sales tax. She's going to have to go in there and designate. She's going to have a sheriff personal services account. Then she's going to have a sheriff personal service sales tax account. And uh, maintenance and operation, same, isn't that, that right? Yeah. Maintenance and operation, the same. However, travel, if that's part of it, you know. So is it, <clears throat> Carrie, is it just going to be an, an allocation? model when, you, when you're setting up the allocation model is pretty much uh, pretty much if you follow it you yeah. know you got to follow it like last year we did transferring around and stuff you can't do that out of sales tax uh, but yeah it, that's pretty much what we're talking about is just just setting it up like if it wasn't for that part of it you know I wouldn't even have any I wouldn't even have any dealings in it because unless you set it up that way you can't you can't really, I mean, that's the first thing you do. And right. then you, you're just setting up a can't extra. You know, if you don't set you don't. it up like that, it'd be very difficult to do it. Yeah. What if we said first item on the list here on page two is county sheriff, and they, they actually spent it? as I look at that, about 427000 and some change. Mm -hmm. What if we said we're going to run, and I'm just picking the department here, we're going to run the sheriff's department out of the sales tax. And just, <coughs> so that, that's where that chunk of sales tax goes. And then uh, go on down and find another department that would about use what we needed to use and just say that, that department's yes. going to run on. We can do that, and that was kind of like what my plan was last year. I just didn't include enough. I mean, uh, I thought last year general government spent more money than they did this year, and I thought maybe we would spend a bigger chunk out of there. They had 400 and something thousand left over in there, so, you know, and I mean, we could leave it like that, 
but eventually I'm afraid in a couple more years it's going to be up here where our sales tax allocation is going to be way more than uh, our, you know, 80% of our budget will be sales tax because of the leftover amounts. See, uh, like anything, anything that's left over plus the the over collections, because I estimated sales tax at about 90% of what we got last year. Well, as a general rule, we collect more each year in that area because it's kind of a prog progressive tax. And so that over collections would have to be added to that. And then, uh, <coughs> you know, it may be that where we got next year, we, we have so much sales tax that the county sheriff, to give him, you know, it'd take way more money <laughs> He'd like to have, you know, give him, <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? Well, again, we're not trying, we didn't, it's, it's not family money. It's the money we've been spending. Right, for, that's right. We just allocate it to a certain source. That is, that's a one way to do it. If y'all, if y'all like that way, well, that, that'd be great. I just know that when we done this last year, we, the commissioners agreed to do this. Mm -hmm. And I think they need and to agree to it again. I, I, did, I did call and explain, and I know you got with the auditors and they explained it also. So it does show that the allocations that we have spent, right. that we have more left over. If we do that, like, like Ray mentioned there, then if, say we included the county sheriff, then the commissioners would need to go in later, at least retroactively, and designate that as sales tax account. So that there's gotta be some official designation so that the auditors know that that's what it is. I mean, we can write sales tax on there, but and that would that would uh, lighten up the load on the county clerk because we're going to one specific spot. It, it would. I don't know about lighten, but it would. Uh, it would keep the, keep it from increasing. Yeah. I'd say so. Yeah. Well, that's what I meant. Yeah. So keep the keep it. That's that's a good idea. Then that way, uh, that work out real good. Just like me. Okay. Did we designate the jail account as sales tax last year? I believe we designated the dispatch. Salaries and benefits. And, I mean, or and the salaries at 290. And general government, yeah. Now that sales tax account. So does that get budgeted in every year then, Terry? Well, yeah, it would either get, I mean, uh, it, the sales tax has to stay together. Like next year, if they wanted to change it up, they don't have. They could designate something else as sales tax. It, you know. I'm a little bit confused because I'm yeah. hearing. I'm hearing it's not extra money. It's, it's not. money that's been spent, and then I'm hearing it's extra money. No. So tell out, me what this is. Out of the two million nine hundred eighty-one thousand that we have to appropriate, one million eight hundred twenty-eight thousand of it is sales tax. That ought to answer your, your question. Yeah, your 61.33, is it? Pardon? Actually, no, it's more than that, isn't it? What'd you say? That where's, it, where's that at, Carrie? It's on the last page of this, the 2 million nine. Yes, yes, it's on our first, second page. Just the list, not. Yeah, it's down at the bottom there at the last page on the yeah, right. right. Yeah. But out of that, uh, <clears throat> because of the estimate, the leftover from last year, and Which is required carry. We have a certain amount of required carryover, right? Or the you always tell us we need to have this much to you know to, to fund our forty percent. You know what I'm talking about? Right. There. Okay. Is that part of that? that no, that about? that goes into the overall appropriations. Okay. Okay. You just need to have that much left next year, you know, or something right. around right. there. Right. Right. What? This is not giving us any more money. It's just right exactly it's not yeah. extra money it's not extra it's just a it's a it's an easier way to track what we're right. putting out overall you have about eleven thousand dollars extra money from last year yeah okay 
Aaron, what would it do to your your operation if, if we just said, well, we're going to appropriate sales tax to county sheriff or what, whichever one we select here? What would it what would that do to you? I mean, you'd be tracking the same money. It would just be. I don't know for sure. So we would have to set up all new accounts, yeah. and it would just be different accounts and different numbers. You have to go through the auditors to get numbers for those accounts. But you're going to have to set up a an, you're going to have to set up accounts anyway. It's just going to be different numbers, right? But when we, you just don't go in and do it. You have to get it approved by the auditors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I've never heard them talk about this since I've been. I mean, this way. It would be similar to what we did last year on the right. On the other accounts for, but how many accounts do you have, Tim? Well, now we have several cash accounts. You have your sheriff service fee cash account. You have your courthouse security cash account. You have your sheriff jail um, cash account, and then you have your, you know, your maintenance and operation account, which is B six one. You have B six two, which is your jail. Uh, your jail money. budget money. Yeah. So you have those budget monies, and then you have your salary money. It's, it, there's all we have eight or nine different accounts that we that we operate out of now budgeted wise we have four accounts we have b62 b61 and then we have the, the, the sheriff's office side um, but that's just like one account sheriff is yeah. just one account and then like, like b2 b1a is like the sub accounts, sub -accounts under. Over the, over the so your accounts correct me if I'm wrong yours is already set up to a point to where ours are set up through <coughs> ours are set up through Gala's office. Right. I mean, we, we that's do what nothing I'm saying different through than the new numbers, but I can see the new other than the numbers that were given last year. Yeah, in, in last year, it mistake first of all, I thought it's been late. We are covered up. We're on another stolen vehicle right now. I mean, we're recovering stuff left and right this morning. So mm -hmm. um, I want to apologize for being late on that. We're our sales tax account last year, that was a sales tax money. That all that all that got put into one, and that made it through about four or five months of jail salary. That's what that was set up for was the jail salary account. That made it through four or five months, and then we rolled over to the dispatch maintenance and operation, dispatch salary, whatever they want to call it in here. I think it's sheriff, dispatch, and jail. Then we finished our salaries out there with the rest of our maintenance and operation money. So that's how that was set aside. I think there was a sales tax money was left. There was some sales tax money left over, and then they put it in there after that $190,000 was pulled out, set aside for that junior payment. I think it was $190,000, was not it, that we set aside for the junior, the junior note payment? Yeah. So we set that money aside out of that sales tax, and then there was a 200 what was it, 200 and, and that's what we were quick, it was 260 but that, anyways, that leftover money was what was... Was what was two sixty four nine nine forty three twelve or two ninety six zero one, whatever it was, was put aside out of that once that payment money was set aside. So that money for that sales tax money was split two ways last time. It was split for that junior note payment and partial of our salary benefits, and then the rest of it was picked up out of the rest of the money, which was put back into that sheriff dispatch jail money. So. And that's where it becomes confusing during the middle of the year when we're talking about revenue sources that we had, that we had is because we had forgot that we had we'd used that because so, because it was two different we had to pay salaries out of two different ways. So once that was depleted, you know, when we were talking about the jail meeting one one month, we thought, well, that money might still be there. Then we went to talk to Gala, and we'd already used that for for salary and benefits. But I, I mean, correct me here if I'm wrong. But we we took that money, we took the 190 out of it for that that junior note payment, which set aside, and then the rest of that, because you we were having troubles of figuring out how to divide it up, so we just said, hey, we'll stick it all right here. The sheriff will have that to pay those salaries for the jail, and then we'll finish that budget out in the regular budget process. Yeah, it was my understanding that last year we designated general government all together as sales tax. I could be wrong. Like and then the excess went into dispatch, but he wanted dispatch divided up because it wasn't enough. Is that right? 
We, we fully funded last year where we had in the past. Yeah. So as far as I went away from here, the dispatch, uh, the 290 part of it, like you said, and the general government for <coughs> the sales tax account. Mm -hmm. So I, I took the total expenditures of general government and the total expenditures out of that dispatch, and I subtracted them from last year's sales tax amount. And then on whatever we had left over, I had to add to that the amount of sales tax that we collected more than what we budgeted. I had to add that. And then this year we had 90% more to add to this year's budget, if that makes any sense. Like, let's say, for instance, let's just let's pretend here for a minute. Let's say that the sheriff's office asked for $400,000, and we're going to... And that's how, that's how much sales tax we have. So we're going to designate it, that as a sales tax account. Well, at the end of the year, if he has 5000 left over, and because I had estimated 400000 it actually brought in 525000 I'm going to have to take that 125000 that 5000 that he had left over, and then I'm going to take 90% of 525000 estimated in this year. That's all going to be sales tax. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So all you're really looking for is just a way to designate those sales That's right. tax to one person so you wouldn't have to go through every office, right? Well, yeah, but that's not going to be possible for a million eight hundred and twenty-eight. Well, no, I mean the most of it, I guess. To... Yeah, that's what we were trying to do. except we've got to designate this year instead of, I don't remember what it was last year, but it's, a lot, it's quite a bit less than this. We've got to designate $1,828,000 worth of sales tax accounts. Last year it was more like, uh, last year it was more like a million three.
Rick, what was that figure again on the sales tax? That we had to it's one million eight We fund the dispatch, the sheriff's office, and general government with that. With that I, don't, over. I don't think that would be enough. Uh, I mean, if assuming, <clears throat> assuming you uh, like put in. Yeah, that probably would do it. If say you put in, I just roughly said 418 for the sheriff, 290 for dispatch, and million two for general government. That'll get you to a million nine oh eight. And it's a million eight twenty eight, so and I just was rubbing in those figures. You know, the requested isn't necessarily what you have to put in there. Mm -hmm. So if you, uh, if you put more like, let's see. say a million one twenty in general government, which we had a million one seventy three last year and didn't spend it all. It would work, yeah. If you want to do it like that. Well, and you wouldn't have to change anything except the sheriff department. You would designate that as a sales tax because you've already got the other two designated. Might be a pretty good idea.
Well, at least we can show that we're, we're making an effort there. Yeah. You know, we can say, well, here's, here's what we tried. Tell us what, tell us what. Yeah. That's if not, that don't tell work, what, tell us what we Tell want. us what to do and we'll do it. Yeah. yeah. And we could move that money around a little bit if something drastic happened then you know what I'm saying. But you still need to run through all the other offices and determine what, you know, we're still, we're not, we're going to be short some, like we, our requests are like $500,000 or something like that, more than what we got. So should we go through each one of these? I ones? think so. And then see where we're setting, how we get done. Probably. And then go back, and if we've got that sitting in there in those three areas, that'll work good for us. Right. You know, I you know, that's just an idea. One of them is as good as the next. Well, why don't we try last year's numbers and see how that comes out? Except for Gayla, she will need around that ten thousand dollars. I mean, it has to be. I'm telling you, we really need more help in our office. I know Gayla put a part-time person in, and I know Shauna, she's really minus one compared to what Well, the problem is, has. and everybody knows, that Brianna and I both got sick at the same time, and you may not understand it, but there's election going on right now. We're, we have ballots, we have a part-time person in there that does not know how to do that stuff it takes, and you have to have special clearance to do the, uh, the accounting of the election and things like that that she does not have from the state election board. And so... Mm -hmm. We got in a bad, bad bind. <clears throat> well, I mean, the thing about it is that everybody has needs and they're legitimate. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that they're not, <clears throat> but we can't afford to spit, we can't fund them all. I got you. Uh, uh, Next year, is it, uh, we won't have as many elections, right? That's been off here. Next year, well, it won't be as many as this year, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Many of them, we have to. Well, we hope we can. can call on somebody to send somebody in from the state if that That doesn't occur. happen. That doesn't and, uh, They're just like everybody else. They're working everybody they've got, and they've had to cut offices and, you know cut people out and things. They're, they're in the same shape as everybody else. The state budget's not, you know, we're a reflection of that. Well, the big deal is we don't know where this is going to spin out mm -hmm. on the money. Because we don't know what the virus is going to affect this election is coming up, the big election and everything, we've got to watch everything. Because you know how the money's not going to be, you don't know when it's going to cut off. Just like I heard our economy just on the, when they shut, first shut down. All the amount of money, if they was to come in, won't shut it down for another six weeks. <coughs> Just, just as a just as a reference point, that if you gave everybody the same amount as they did last year at the first of the year, um, that would leave uh, a million, approximately a million one ninety for general government, and we had a million one seventy three in there last year, so that'd be you know pretty much the eleven thousand dollar increase. Or, you know, more or less. And you could balance it that way, yeah. But that's just to give you a, I just brought that in just to give you a reference there of what you have. Say those numbers again, please. Well, what I did, I just real quick, I went in there and gave everybody 
the same amount as they got at this time last year, ex except for general government. And then the, what was left over, I plugged into general government, and that was a million one hundred and nine thousand approximately. And we had a million one seventy three in general government last year, so it would be actually a little increase for that. And uh, and you, it would balance that way. Um, that's assuming everybody could get by on what they got last year. But the commissioners wanted to give a little bit more to the, was it the treasurer's office. Well, I mean, we have to fund her for that increase, or we're cut, or if we don't. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, and I mean, we we could, I mean, that's just like a, <clears throat> just a rough idea. You can jiggle those numbers around however you want to. We ought to be at least as good as we were last year, with just a tiny bit more. <clears throat> it, it was amazing to me how the sales tax did not necessarily change that much after the stuff started, the COVID. I thought that would just just take sales tax to all the pieces, but it really didn't have that big of an effect. Yeah, we got, you got our grocery stores and convenience stores, you got Walmart, Walmart probably tripled, if not more. Yeah. <coughs> Cause it's buying up Cause it's, because, and everybody was shopping at home. They wasn't going, and you could tell that by our appropriations of our gas and diesel, and it came across everybody. Uh, this, that's the thing was crazy. I have a, a, a son-in-law that uh, is a manager for a Sam's in Oklahoma City, and they had their biggest year ever. Yes, yes. Commissioner, I have a question. The 613000 that we've requested in coronavirus money, for coronavirus money that we're actually, um, Sanders actually working on, Commissioner Decker's working on right now. Mm -hmm. um, what, is our, what is our plan with, with that money if we are to receive it? I don't think we have a plan as of yet. I mean, I've heard a couple of things mentioned, but as far as a plan, we don't so I have had, anything in place. I, I know that I had sent um, some numbers to, to Commissioner Zachary. <laughs> um, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna help re, it's gonna help pay back part of our, most of our salaries for deputies and um, jail staff. So, you know, I think that will help us next year um, if we do see a shortfall, if, if it's there. Um, you know, so I, like, I, like I sent Commissioner Zachary, I sent her the numbers that we paid for out of cash account for items um, that are able to be reimbursed for. But, um, but I guess my question is, is if we foresee a tax decrease, over the next four, six, eight months, is that money going to be available to be utilized next year for any shortcomings that we might have? I haven't received anything on it. Can you use it for anything? Salaries? Pretty, pretty much. There's a there's a yeah. guidelines that yeah, we that we got it back. We got back um, an actual email from the Association Plus from the folks that um, you know all of our deputies' salaries and then any jail staff salary that has been adjusted for the virus, which will be most of ours because we've had to put special things in place because of it, <coughs> those salaries will all be all be reimbursed. Will it have to be set up by itself, from like they, the no. top yeah, money, or? My understanding from the state is, too, that the county has to apply mm -hmm. for everybody. Like, I can't go apply for my office. She's applying for all. For yours, the county should be applying for all of us. And it's, it's all... 612 or 613 And I'm not mistaken, your 54000 could come off that bottom of the 613 which would be 500 and something. Which but, is, and it could be. But <clears throat> until we... And what happens, <clears throat> I have to get receipts, checks, and there's more than I'm coming up with. But you've got to send your payroll and everything one thing together, and then you gotta send your expenses on another one together. You can't send them all together at once. They all have to be separated. And it takes a little time once you get stuff. And there's like with Tim saying, I've gotta come back to him and get some other information. So I have an invoice too that I yeah. think you have from when okay. I bought stuff. And then I've, I've been keeping them in, and as we've been trying to get them, you know, then the, <clears throat> like the health department, they send me their, their expenses on, on their cleaning. 
you know, so they're, they're in the pot too. I, I guess my question was is that I don't feel that those reimbursements should come back to the sheriff's office. I mean, the, the cash the cash money that you have to use, mm -hmm. then yeah, I think that should be put back in those cash accounts. But the total amount of it, yeah. our, our, budget is, our budget is general, it, it comes from the general government. Right. I mean, it comes, it so I think, you know, that goes back in there. And if we wind up with five, you know, 500, $550,000, my question was, is, is that something that we're gonna be able to use if we have a shortcoming? In the future, that was that's just my question. Because we're trying to appropriate too on the debts that the county has, you know, have that money in there. You know, like the, you got that junior loan, mm -hmm. so you had some more debts, you know, it's in there. We're going to try to keep enough there that you know, we can get some get out from under them payments and stuff. You know, if it works out that way, nothing set stone or nothing. We just discussed on the you know, best way to spend it to get the county so it in later years where we won't be under any I mean I, I truly feel that the junior mm -hmm. the junior debt the, the junior note um, debt will be fulfilled this year. I mean I think it's I mean we're we're close to having it done and that, that is one that'll be go away and then that whole quarter cent is then available. Um, yeah. help a lot. It'll help, help a lot. tremendously. Mm -hmm. It's all in there. I, mean, I think we're only Hundred eight thousand dollars. What are we away from fulfilling? Well, one hundred eighty-one thousand as of the end of the year, and then uh, we've got a little over fifteen thousand. We'll put another seventy-eight hundred in, and we put it on the agenda for this month. So, we so we're no, we're looking at one hundred and sixty thousand, give or take. That, that that note will be for, that that obligation will be fulfilled. And well, and then it'll be less than that. You go to that ninety-three, so we'll be over a hundred thousand already. Say. Another thing is the uh, Ten Commandment thing got paid off. Yes, it's it done. Did. It's gone. Yes, and, and so I that, that, that was coming out of the sinking funds. Well, that's not going to help. That's not going to help you. Any. I mean, it's a good yeah. thing, but yeah, but it is the good thing for the taxpayers of the county. Right. Yes. yes. What is the what is the junior loan debt for you? What was the total on that for you? Ninety-three thousand for a year. Yeah. <clears throat> and it is almost. It's almost a fill. Yeah. This year it'll be done. It's mm -hmm. supposed to be paid off in 2024, but it, we had to set this up. There was no money there to pay it off until uh, last, what, last two years? Year. Last year we started Last year it, started it. Yes. Anyway, uh, it's come along a lot better than what we thought. That's why we wanted this money here to make sure everything, all the debts like that, is taken care of. That we get took in the can, the county can operate a lot better. You know, if you had got that, we get that cleared, that gives quite a bit more money every year. Well, on the side is Clark, I did, you know, talk with all of you guys about that. Um, we were out of money and we had told Catherine we were going to have to completely cut her, even though we, it was up against the election. But we're out of money, but we didn't have an option. We had to keep our office open. And so there's no money in our account to pay her. So, you know, unless we close the election board. <coughs> election time. Now, Brianna be back when? Um, is she out? I don't know. She's out today. I know. I'm, I'll Hope, talk to her this morning. I'm hoping she'll be back in she the next day or two, but yeah, I don't know. She mentioned to me this morning she'd be back today. Yeah. I mean, tomorrow, I'm sorry. I'll talk to her today. Yeah, she's not there today. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, the next day. It's not. You may think you're fine one day and then the next day you're not, so. And, and it's a, <laughs> right now it's a day by day thing with everything. But we are short on that. Well, we should be able to help yeah. you out. We've talked about yeah. that, I think. <clears throat> we could have to pay that back, get that back mm -hmm. up. Yeah. 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 You know, we wound up with two, we talked about yesterday morning, we wound up with two, one still in the hospital, I'm not sure that not gonna have to go to the ventilator yet or not. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's, she's been in the hospital six days now. Who? One of our employees. And I mean, we've, we've, we've battled it, we've had four, and I mean, it's, you know, we're <coughs> getting worse every day, isn't it? And it's, you know, we're very lucky that we've kept it away from inmates. Um, you know, but it's a, <coughs> it's a daunting task right now.
increase her M and O? Wasn't it good enough to, yeah. to, to uh, she had, she got from ten thousand last year and increased it to twenty thousand. And that's what you put down for your budget. Mm -hmm. okay. See, original appropriations was one million one seventy three eight oh six. So I mean, and they lapsed four hundred seventy two thousand. So there shouldn't be any reason why that wouldn't work. That would be given like you know. The sheriff office four twenty six nine hundred. Uh, treasure one hundred thirty one thousand. OSU twenty. Now, Terry, are we giving the, the treasurer the ten? That would that would the increase that she asked. It was one twenty one last year, and they gave her ten extra in maintenance. That'd be one thirty one. Okay. That's where I was going by. I mean, I don't think anybody anything's been given to anybody yet. I'm just saying what it would look like. OSU 27321. Uh, nothing on that chart, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't really understand that thing. Is that That's the donation. Yeah. We yeah. don't know what it is. Maybe. Okay. Quarters, well, county plus 121,000. 94.3, the court clerk had the same as last year. 87,701 for the assessor. 156.65 for the redial or visual inspection. Dispatcher 296601 dollars, 690601 and then uh, general government 1,188,645, excise 4,000, election board 90,201, and then uh, emergency management 34,701. Audits, audits 22, 64322, it's a little bit less than last year. Uh, and then the sheriff dispatch 305, 62136. And that, that would balance it. Okay. What was that figure again? Uh, which one? On the sheriff's. 305-621-36. That would be for the jail, wouldn't it? Yeah, but you have the 305-621 plus the 100 the 290-6601. Yeah. Is that one, is that just for the dispatchers or are they all for the dispatchers? So it's for all, the dispatcher and jail is combined. Yeah. So it's a combined total. Um, but we just split that up so we, we split it up so we, yeah. Stuff. Yeah, yes. I remember that. Yeah. So you basically are going to get close to what you asked for there, that five something. Yes. Karen, I was willing, if I were you, <laughs> this is just my suggestion, I'd get rid of that 84 one cent tax count because there's 
no money to put in there. And I mean, that sales tax has already been used in here. So you don't want to try to put that in there again, too. And that's what we did, wasn't it? Yeah. Where, I mean, you know, it made it look like we had way much more money to spend, but luckily we didn't spend it, so that's the main thing, or we didn't spend most of it. Looking down through there at the at the left, the only one that looks like they struggled a lot. I mean, that, this doesn't necessarily tell the whole story, but the treasurer's office just left some ten dollars, and then the uh, election or well, the clerk was seven twenty six. So I mean, they didn't have a lot of extra money, but it seemed like everybody got by with last year's. The election board was pretty low too, the three hundred ten. overall lapse on the last page, it's inflated. It's inflated by the amount of the, the supplements that we put in there. It really realistically would have been more like 471,000. And most of that was sales tax. So if we run with it like that, general government will be just a little bit short of what it was last year. Is that what I'm Actually, it'll have a little bit more than it did last year. A little more. Just a, yeah, like about, oh, um, yeah, maybe 15000 oh. something like that. Because, you know, we were up 11, but then the, the audit account was down about 6 or yeah, so that helped a little bit. I think so. I mean, I think y'all did a pretty good job this last year, actually. Yeah, awesome. I mean, overall money-wise, you, you, it kind of surprised me. Um, well, we survived and, and we got to put a lot of money in on our debts, so like I said. Maybe with the stimulus money, if we can get out from under some of those debts, it'd even be that much better. You know, then we can start kind of putting to the other things. What do you think, Ray? Well, I don't, I don't have any 
any objections, that looks to me like everything's excise board job to make sure everything balances and it's legal as far as I can tell it is. Slowly, yeah, and, and go through it slowly so we can see what the numbers are real quick. But if there's changes, can we do that? Changes? Well, if there's changes, it needs you can no. have another meeting and make those changes, but you want to be careful. Right. Yeah, you can do that, you can make changes to it. But the thing about the thing you got to be careful with first of all, my suggestion would be go back and designate the county sheriff's office as sales tax. That's what I thought y'all agreed on. Mm -hmm. All right, then you want to be careful when you change things because you, if you're pulling out of a sales tax and putting into a non-sales tax or vice versa, it can screw things up. Mm -hmm. And you know, I mean, it's y'all's, it's y'all's deal. But if you have any questions about any of it, just give me a call and I'll help you out through any of that that you need about if you're going to do any changing. But I, I would need to know that. What I'll do, I'll go back to the office. We'll go through these so I can share it once too. Then I'll go back to the office and I'll put the, I'll uh, type in the figures that you agree on. I'll send you one of these little workbooks if you want it just to have. But then you know the original, the, the budget that has all the funds in it. We'll send it out. Probably it'll be another week or so before we finish it. That you sign. Well, if you make any changes, it needs to be before this, before you sign. Sure. You know. Mm -hmm. So you'll need to within that week probably. Uh, you'll need to decide about your, any changes you might want to so make. So the appropriation of the 1% and the 4%. <coughs> Pardon? The appropriations that we done last year for the 1% and the 4%. Well, uh, I think you've got the money to put that in there, and we can do that if that's what y'all want to do. Let's, let's, like the sheriff suggested, real quick, if you don't yeah, mind. Yeah, Yeah. Can you grab a pencil and a pen over here? The more that you can get done today and have that you don't have to change, the better off you are. But like on the sheriff, the first one that supposedly we're going to go to the sales tax designation list has a right now personal services last year was two twenty eight six hundred and the forty nine four for part time help which is more than he asked for this year so I don't know if he wants to move that around. Well, the reason that and I'll, let me address that but the reason that we did that is because we had discussed in the first meeting that we were going to put a deputy full-time at the courthouse. And I moved some money around so we weren't asking for an astronomical amount of money to move that around. So that's why I did that, Gary. Okay. And then travel, 8400 And then uh, 137 
five for uh, maintenance and capital outlay a thousand. So are you requesting? No, three thousand. Three thousand. I'll take that. I'll still be able to try to put a guy here almost full time. That gives him the same as he had last year. Uh, the treasure one one oh five for personal services. Uh, six for travel, and then thirty for maintenance. Is that right? Thirty. 20. 20. 20. I'm sorry, 20. Yeah. I was trying to get you extra 10. <laughs> well, so that's a total there of uh, 131,000. Then OSU, I mean, sometimes they move those around. But <coughs> we, uh, last year it was 10 7 in travel. Uh, 9500 1500 in uh, maintenance, 1000 in capital LA, and 53, or I'm sorry, 4621 in contractor services. Yeah, I mean, obviously, contractual services, I have no call on that, so that would have to change. You know, some have pulled from travel or something like that as well. Oh, so that 5300 has to has be to paid, be, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, if you want to move that around, any of it, we could do that, or you can do it later either way. So why don't we just go ahead and move his 5300. Okay. That's about that much. That's a part that goes OSU, isn't it? Or That's right. right. Am I right about that? Yeah. All right, and then, uh, so that makes his total 28000 even. I put 5300 in con con contractual services. And then under county clerk, we got... 105,000 in personal services, uh, travel 6,000, that's the minimum, isn't it? And then uh, 10,000 for maintenance, and uh, that's it, 121,000. Court clerk, 75, six, 10,200 for part-time help. Um, 6,000 for travel, and 2,500 for maintenance and operation. I should be training. She's got, she has school travel too. I don't have maintenance operation, I have training and certification. Oh, okay, is that what that was last year? Yeah. We just had it in the wrong category? Yeah. Yeah, that won't make any difference. Okay, so that'd be a total of 94.3. Then County Assessor, 76 eight, uh, 9700 for travel, maintenance is 1200 and a dollar for the capital update. Total of 87701 uh, on the visual inspection, I just put it back like it was last year, 91.8 for uh, personal services travel at 4,500. Looks like she has quite a bit more there. 9,500 in maintenance, 9,500 in capital outlay, and 19,855 in insurance, 827 in unemployment, Uh, 19,442 and 1241 for Social Security. Total of 156,665. Is it, where is the center? I'm sorry. Does that, just out of curiosity, does the retirement, do you pay that direct out of there or does that go to general government? on the rebound or visual inspection. Uh, it looks like you paid it out of there. Well, and I'm looking at this 42598 and I'm not really even. You're looking at what? This number, this 42598 requested and I'm not really sure if that's because this is a combination of this number and the offers. 
But yeah, we we pay it out of there. Yeah, I bet that's what it. I bet you put it all up in there. Something like that. Yeah, that's, that's probably what that is. Yeah. yeah. Okay, then dispatch two hundred ninety thousand six hundred one. I don't know how we got a one in there, but we did two ninety six hundred one. And that's sales tax. Dispatch sales tax. General government, y'all have to help me out here. You want to put the same 52-8 in there as last year? It looks like we used most of that 5,000 in unemployment. Maintenance and operation, I don't know what, what y'all did there, but you didn't use near as much as we put in there. You may want to fill in those other ones first and then come back. Yeah. The junior debt, that that three twenty six hundred, I may have helped y'all out there a little bit. I, I don't think there was actually a request for junior debt, but I just added one year and, and put that in there. We'll put whatever y'all want in there. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I'm, we'll go over that. The three twenty six. Mm -hmm. uh, Social Security looks like. Uh, last year it was 117,607.20. And 200 for retirement. And 200 for insurance. And then 100 for workers' comp. That totals up uh, 996. Let's see what that leaves us. Can't see without my glasses, and they can't see with them on because they fall. <laughs> um, that would leave approximately. I think I'm 50 cents off, but that's going to leave uh, for maintenance and operation up there. 192,639, and we spent 126,000. That's probably going to be, you know, it's enough, but it's not going to be any extra. 192 what? <coughs> Leave it. 192, 639.22. Probably minus 50 cents, but we'll fix that in a minute. Yeah, that's, that's not real good. And we have spent, you know, quite a bit of it for extra stuff for the courthouse, the cleaning and everything with that. I mean, more than we usually have. But should be able to make it if we get any catastrophes. And then the equalization board 2400 and 1600. That's a total of 4,000. I won't buy much of that hay. Then the uh, <laughs> election board, we got Uh, 67 to 10,000 for part time help. Travel 6,000. 7,000 for maintenance operation. A dollar for capital outlay. Total 90,201. Uh, emergency management. 30,600. Six hundred for part time, I guess. It was last year, and then thirty-five hundred for. I think that travel. I think it's travel instead of yeah. yeah so oh, travel. Yeah, travel. Oh, it was, it was transferred into travel, wasn't it? Okay, good, good. Thank you. We'll change that. We'll put six hundred in travel and nothing in part time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then there looks like, well, 
$800 per capital out, or no, that was last year, $1 per capital outlay, D34701, the audit's pretty much set, that's a tenth of a mil, plus what was left over last year, which was $15,803.83. That, that one cent sales tax, that really shouldn't have been there. Hopefully we can get rid of it. The Sheriff Dispatch, 54, 621, 36. Um, 35,000 for vacation, is that right? Yeah, it's part-time, but vacation, so you can hold it be. 211,000 for maintenance. And 5,000 for capital outlay. So that 35000 should be in part-time? Yeah, I mean, we pay it out of that. I mean, that's part-time. That's where that, that's what we pay our part-time help out of. Not the vacation. Oh, okay. Not vacation. Yeah. I was thinking there was something about some people. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> that's a total of 305 626 for him. And evidently I've done something wrong because uh, <coughs> we still have... Let's see, no, wait a minute. Uh, <coughs> we're over by $678.50. Uh, He's pulled out of mine. Yeah, pulled out of mine. We upped his, so his. Uh, <laughs> I think the kid wouldn't notice that one. Take it out of there. Well, how much are you over? Six seventy-eight fifty. dollars 50 If I take that out of OSU, is that what you want to do? Easy thing to do. Are we, you know, whatever you Can you just <laughs> we take it out of general government? I'd take it out of general government if it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. Let's we'll see if I can do that. I'll fill them out. Okay, that's what I'll do. That's going to be. Uh, I can find it. That balance is that, that makes M and O in general government one ninety one nine sixty seventy two. Nine sixty seventy two. And that you know, that gives you on that junior note that gives you three hundred and twenty thousand six hundred. So you ought to be in pretty good shape there. Carry out a question. Yes. That three twenty, is that counting what they've already put in the C D over at the bank? Yes, the CD is CD is all brought. It's all part of the general fund. Yeah, that that that's in there. And what is that? Is that four fifty or what's that note? I can't. Four oh eight. Four oh eight. They got they got forty two thousand six. So you're getting close. Yeah, that's a good deal. Is that it? does that make everybody happy? I don't know about happy, but maybe we can all live with it. So we're only eighty-eight thousand dollars away from fulfilling that junior note obligation. That's great. That's great. Well, we can get that paid off early. That'll save us about fifty thousand dollars on interest on down the line. I hope that once that money is set aside, that we can go talk to them yeah. and get that paid off. And we we've discussed it in the past. <coughs> so it's, you know, about 50000 55000 a year in interest that we're paying yep. until 2024. Right. I'd say it's quite a bit I have not checked into it. Calls for no early. I think, I think they, it does. It has been checked into yeah. it. They said it, it was checked into several years. Yeah. They had no, no couldn't no, pay it off no, early. But, but at that time, we didn't have the resources either. Right. So, I mean, I agree. We have to spread our getting the resources. So, yeah. let me... 
probably a long shot, but I mean, it wouldn't cost anything to try. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the other sales tax is coming in enough now to pay that one, isn't it? Well, hit and miss. I mean, it's not, it's not like uh, drastic. <coughs> Like this month we were over 1,500. We were over last month. 200 so it's and something. It's doing a lot better, yeah. Yes. But not like it was. <laughs> I think everybody's put out a big effort to uh, get us uh, in a lot better shape than they have been. I appreciate that from all the offices. Definitely. Yeah, everybody's working together. You know, we've done good. cut and done everything we could and saved as much as we could. Maybe hopefully at the end of it we'll be where we can work a little more relaxed, to put it that way. <laughs> and it's frustrating not to have enough funds. Believe me, yeah. we know. Yeah. I'll work with that every day. Yeah. And ours has been really tough the last several months. Yeah. Um, yeah. With it our funding like that we've Coronavirus hit the highway fund a lot more than it did for anything else. Yeah. Well, like I said, that these. Uh, Great districts lost about forty thousand dollars. Yeah, one one month we were down thirty thousand dollars in gas. But if we if we got that thirty thousand, we would have got two more. And that, that's a big jump, a big jump. But I do appreciate everything. I worked very hard. Yeah. Um, I I when y'all work, it makes a difference, and we do appreciate it very much. Do we have a schedule for the next county uh, elected official meeting? I'm going to try to get one this month, and I did not, but uh, if y'all have a date, if y'all will get with me, we will. I know Tina's been very busy. I know they're fixing to be busy. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but we, we need to get back on our meetings that we've kind of been off on because of the virus. What day y'all want to do it on? Oh, we're all together. What is good for everyone then? Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday. What's good for? On what month? October. I won't be here the third week. I won't be here the second. <laughs> but we have conference. <laughs> we do it the first week of October. We do it on October the 8th. It's a Thursday. Or October 6th is a Tuesday. Do we want to do it on the same day? We have our meetings and we have for lunch on a Monday. Do it on the 5th. It just kind of helps us some, if it's visible for everyone. How about 1.30 on October 5th? October 5th. Yeah. At 1 o'clock, 1.30? 1.30. At this room right here. Karen, I'll, I'll, it'll be probably another 10 days or so, and we'll get this to you with the publication sheet, and you'll have to get the Excel board back together, and then the commissioner sign it and all that. Like I say, if y'all decide you want to make some changes or something, I'd appreciate it if you'd just give me a call and let me know what you're thinking about here, like between now and when I get this done. But, yeah. Well, thanks a lot, Carrie. You can bet. Yes, we'll uh, ask for a motion to adjourn. Possible to approve. Well, we're looking at approving as a larger day.